Hi, hello everyone. Welcome to FMD Guru. We are going to discuss one very important exercise that is very commonly asked in our FMD practicals format for preservation of evidentiary materials for DNA analysis. Okay. It is very commonly asked exercise. It carry five marks. In this session, we are going to discuss what is the proforma and what is the labeling of evidentiary material for DNA analysis and also some important MCQs, some important viva question that can be asked from the topic. Yes. Checklist. So, what is the checklist of this exercise as per CBME? In exam, you need to write all these components, especially during the proforma of preservation of evidentiary material for DNA analysis, which carry five marks. So, what are the components from and to that is 0.5 mark, that is to Director FSL Laboratory Hyderabad and New Delhi that you need to mention and also the subject and also from the hospital name. Then PM number, what do you mean by PM? Postmortem number, MLC, medical legal case number and also the details of the patient or the deceased. Mention the crime number. UDA number and also the PS. What is PS? Police station. That carry 0.5. List of evidentiary materials collected. That carry 2 mark. Signature, name and designation 0.5 mark. Labeling that is 1.5 mark. Totally 5 mark. Let's see. What is the performer? So this is the standard performer which I follow. So, the format, the name of the hospital, you can write Subaya Institute of Medical Sciences and Research Center, Shumoga, or LNGP Hospital, New Delhi, the name of the hospital. Two, director, FSL, Forensic Science Laboratory, Hyderabad, New Delhi. Subject DNA analysis of evidential materials preserved. The details of the case, name, age, and sex. Postmortem number, MLC number, and the date of the postmortem examination. Crime number, CR number, police station, PS. Then what are the materials preserved? Again, depending upon the case, depending upon the case scenario that is given in your exam. So, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 samples. Place and the date, signature of doctor, name, designation, registration number. So, this is the proforma which we follow. And this is the labeling of evidentiary material. Not only for DNA, also for other evidentiary materials also. So, name of the hospital that should be there over the evidentiary material. The packet number, sample number, PM or SO that is sexual offense number, MLC number, date, name, age, sex, doctor signature and the seal. So this is the standard labeling which we follow along with the seal that is. So the seal normally it is wax covered with the cello tape. This is how we to seal just to maintain chain of custody to prevent the contamination then this is the vacutainer purple vacutainer for the collection of blood nowadays we use fda card vatman fda card now comes is the what are the commonly asked questions again it depends on the examiner Depends on the institute. 
depends on the time availability. Let me discuss some 10 important questions that can be asked from this topic. What are the uses of DNA fingerprinting? Before that, what is the principle of that? The principle of DNA fingerprinting, as you know, DNA. So this is the DNA, right? So this is the DNA. So DNA, which is nothing but genetic material, which consists of exons. What do you mean by exon? Coding region. Introns. What do you mean by intron? Non-coding region. This intron, they have very specific sequence known as VNTR, variable number tandem repeats, which is very specific to a particular person. So the principle is VNTR, or mini satellite, or the introns. So this can be question in your viva. What are the uses? Again, uses can be medical uses or medical legal uses. So what are the uh, uses? One common is identification. Identification in case of rape, incest, bestiality, mass disaster, burnt bodies. So it's very important. Diagnosis of some inherited disorder like cystic fibrosis, hemophilia, Huntington's disease. Establishing paternity, maternity. Gene therapy, medical indication. Skeletal remains, exhumation, missing person, mistaken identity. In all these cases are indications generally. To mention one or two that is more than sufficient one very important indication is that is your identification and also paternity nowadays and maternity second what are the dna samples to be collected in living person and in dead person living person blood around 5 ml of blood in purple stoppered vacutainer which consists of EDTA as anticoagulant, preserved at 2 to 8 degrees Celsius, but remember not frozen. Not frozen. Or else you can use buccal epithelial cells or buccal swabs. Hair follicles with the root. Root is important that consists of DNA genetic material. Then samples of dead bodies, especially in decomposed body, are the mass disaster skeletal remains so in dead body you can use 10 ml of blood uncluttered blood with edta brain tissue or advanced decomposition in advanced decomposition remember you can preserve bones the best specimen is the molar teeth which consists of pearl which resist advanced decomposition and also the contamination is very minimal in molar teeth. So remember this teeth or molar tooth is the specimen in advanced decomposition. Next, all these are the samples which we can see one hair root that is sufficient or blood with EDTA. This is how the buccal swabs are collected. Okay, buccal swabs. Buccal swabs are collected, which is air dry without any preservative. Then, sometime the question can be asked, in some institute they can ask question, what is the performer for DNA sample collection in case of living person, living person. So in that case you need to answer some general particulars, you need to mention description of the sample to be collected, declaration the consent is needed, that is consent from the donor or the guardian. Then collection of biological sample in presence of two witness. So it is especially in DNA sample collection performer in living. Okay. So this is how general particulars, name, age, 
gender, date of birth, medical history, any genetic abnormalities, any history of blood transfusion or organ transplantation which can affect the results of the DNA testing, date, police station, under section, second, description of the sample collected, so what are sample to be collected, blood, saliva, semen, vaginal swab and others, date of collection, purpose of conducting test, seal impression that is wax covered with the cello tape, then particulars of the medical officer, declaration of the donor, this is how declaration should be taken and collection of biological sample in presence of two witness, witness one and witness two. Then the question can be asked, what is the principle of DNA fingerprinting or what are the steps of DNA fingerprinting? What is the blot technique that is used? Sudden blotting is the answer. Okay. So the principle is simple, V and T are variable number tandem repeats, DNA which is extracted by using restriction enzyme, it can be digested into restriction fragments, then you can do electrophoresis, gel electrophoresis, transfer of DNA to membrane which is known as southern blotting, southern blotting used for DNA, northern blotting used for RNA, you can remember south Indian dosa, north Indian roti, south Indian that is DNA. North Indian, Northern that is roti, RNA that is, that is also MCQ. Then you can use hybridization DNA, you can add some radioactive DNA, then you can take the X-ray. So this is nothing but your DNA fingerprint. So this is in simple words. Then what are the sources of DNA evidence? There are many sources. You can collect blood, semen, hair, teeth, bone, tissue and the cells, but not the RBCs. Samples can be like this, mask, hat, gloves, clothing, tools, weapons, sexual assault evidence, kits. All this can be used. Fingernail scraping also can be used, right? Which consists of uh, skin epithelial cells that consist of DNA. Okay, some example, let's see. So this is the crime scene investigation where swab is collected from the crime scene you can see the blood stain there this is cigarette butt which is found in the crime scene so this can be used for dna analysis this is the hammer usually the handle the handle of the hammer which consists of the some dna material related to the crime and the accused. This is buccal epithelial cell swab collection. Now question can be asked, which is best? DNA fingerprinting or fingerprinting? In general, fingerprint is best. Why? Because fingerprint is not same or it is dissimilar even in identical twins. In identical twins, especially monozygotic twins, DNA fingerprinting can be same, VNTR can be same, but fingerprint is different. What is the most common fingerprint? Loop. Least common fingerprint? Composite. Right. Next. Who is the father of DNA fingerprinting? Who discovered it? Alec Jeffrey. Alec Jeffrey. Or the question can be asked. Who is the father of DNA fingerprinting in India? Your answer should be Dr. Lalji Singh. Lalji Singh is the father of DNA fingerprinting in India who discovered BKM probe. BKM means banded crate minor probe which increases the accuracy of DNA fingerprinting. Okay. He also founded establishment of forensic science laboratory in India. So he is Lalji Singh, his contribution is BKM. Why STR is preferred over RFLP? Why STR? 
you know str preferred over rflp because it can be used in when there is a small sample is available second thing it's a very rapid pcr based technique always rapid possible in degraded sample also a degraded sample also that's why nowadays str str is preferred over rflp that is restriction fragment length polymorphism the other techniques of dna fingerprinting also and one more question can be asked in your exam what is fta paper fta paper remember it is flinder technology agreement paper so this is the fta paper paper in this blood sample can be collected blood sample can be collected in this and it can be preserved for 6 to 8 years for many years nowadays it is very commonly used in forensic science crime investigation okay so that completes the your uh, the small exercise that is dna analysis if you have any doubt you can message me in the comment section thank you wish you all the best